Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the radius of the circle as you can see in this figure. Moreover, the chords A, B and D, E are perpendicular to each other. D, F is 12 units, F, E is 4 and F, B is 6. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. We need to calculate this AF part of the code. We don't know the value. Let's go ahead and calculate this AF. Now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. As you can see, two chords, they are intersecting each other. Then AB equals to CD. That means this A times B equal to C times D. Let's use this analogy to our this given figure. So that means this side is going to be an A, this B, this C and this D and we need to calculate A. So now let's go ahead and apply this theorem. In our case A we don't know, B in our case is 6 equal to C is 12 times D is 4. So that is going to give us 6A equals to 48. Let's divide both sides by 6. So A turns out to be 8. So thus our A value turns out to be 8. And we know that A is same as this AF part. So therefore, AF equals to 8. And here's our next step. Let's draw a perpendicular from this center C onto this chord AB. Let's go ahead and do this one. Let's draw a perpendicular over here. And this is a perpendicular, by the way. And this point A, I'm going to call it a P. And here it is, our nicer looking diagram. And here is our chord of a circle theorem. A radius perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts. And here is our CP, this is our radius, okay? And this AP is a chord, that means it's gonna divide this one into two parts AP equals to PB so therefore AP equals to BP and we also know that the total length of this AB is going to be 8 plus 6 that is going to give us AB equals to 14 and we also know that this AP distance is half of this AB so we're going to divide 14 divided by 2 therefore the length of AP turns out to be 7 and here is our original figure once again and this time we are going to draw a perpendicular from this center to this line DE let's go ahead and draw the perpendicular over here somewhere here and I'm going to call this point over here N. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's recall the chord of a circle theorem once again. A radius perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts. This time this CN, this is our radius and this DE is our chord, so then it's going to divide this chord into two parts. The first one is going to be DN, and the other one is going to be NE. So therefore, we got DN equals to NE. And we also know that the total length of this DE is going to be 12 plus 4 is going to give us 16 as you can see over here and one more thing this NE this one is the 
half of this DE. So we are going to divide 16 divided by 2. That means NE is going to be 8 units. So we know that NE is 8 units and we know that this FE is 4. So then this NF is going to be the difference. 8 minus 4 is going to be 4 units. So thus this NF turns out to be this one is 4. And here is our new figure once I have put together two previous figures. Now let's focus on this rectangle C and F P. And here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of rectangle have same lengths and are parallel. So that means this side is going to have the same length as this one and they are parallel as well. And since this one is four units, so this CP is got to be four units as well. So thus our CP turns out to be four. And in this next step, let's go ahead and connect this point C and A. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And you can see that AC, this is our radius. I'm going to call it R. And here is our final step. Let's focus on this triangle CPA. And since this is a right triangle, so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, I'm going to call this side A, which is seven, this side B, which is gonna be four, and this longest leg is gonna be C, which is R. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is seven, that becomes seven square plus B in our case is four, which is gonna become four square, and C is R, so it's gonna become R square. Let's simplify this thing, that's gonna become 49 plus 16 equal to R square, or I can just put R square equal to 65. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square, so R, turns out to be square root of 65. So thus the radius of our circle turns out to be square root of 65 or approximately equal to 8.06 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.